Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. I'm doing a quick review of uh, Kip Killigan, custom made by me, of course. But um, if you guys are Small Soldiers collectors, you guys know that Kip Killigan is the most sought after toy. Um, he is going for around $300 to $400 on eBay. Now, I'm never going to pay that <laughs> for an action figure. I don't think an action figure is worth that much money. So instead of buying it, I created my own. I personally like this guy a lot. Uh, he's one of my favorite characters from the movie. Um, I really think he's badass and he looks really, really cool. And I like him better without his bandana. So I had to recreate him without his bandana and um, all his accessories. This guy was originally a brick bazooka. Um, I don't want to show you the brick bazooka that I have because um, I'm currently working on him and I'm making a video for him. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, um, I should be posting it within a few weeks. I do have a bunch of other videos that I want to post before. It's just that I haven't had time, guys, so I apologize. I just want to make a quick review of this guy because I've been working for this guy or working to create this guy for a very, very long time. And I know a lot of you guys have been uh, waiting to see this guy. So, anyways, without any further ado, let's do a little rundown. So, most of it is with epoxy clay. Like I said before in my previous videos, I'm getting better with the epoxy clay. Um, I think epoxy clay works better with toys than um, polymer clay. Because polymer clay, you have to heat up the polymer in order for it to dry. Uh, as opposed to epoxy clay, it just uh, air dries. So, it works a lot better. Uh, so, here's a, a full turn. What it looks like that's his backside side with his tattoo and that's the front now a little close up of the face uh the face is all um painted well it's a lot of it i had to sculpt it like i said this is originally a uh, brick bazooka brick bazooka if you guys know he has a big um smile so his uh, smile goes from cheek to cheek but i put epoxy to make him look more like um like Kip Killigan. Um, there's a little cigarette, this infamous cigarette. Added a little texture to his face. I painted a lot of his face because um, his eyeballs were really, really hard to paint on this guy because um, if you guys see his eyeballs on, on the actual movie, they kind of pop out a little bit. Uh, they have a lot of texture in his eyeballs. And for me to do that with the epoxy, I'm not that good yet. So I couldn't do it, so most of it is just painted on. Um, it look, I still think it came out pretty good the way it is now. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Uh, so anyways, I shaved off everything that he had here. And he had some other stuff here. And uh, if you guys know that Brick Bazooka, if you guys ever had the toy, you guys know he has like a little uh, metal, metal, metal piece here. Uh, not literally metal, but... It's supposed to look like metal and then other stuff here. So I shaved that down. Um, this guy has like uh, baggy pants like this. So I had to put some epoxy here too. His boots, I had to make them all the way out to the top. Uh, make them look like this. And also with uh, Brick Bazooka, he had more square feet. His feet were like squares or rectangles, I should say. Uh, so I had to kind of round off his boots because that's the way Kib's boots are. These are uh, epoxy as well. I left the, the original uh, gloves on because um, I figured he had gloves anyways. Um, on the movie, he doesn't have all these little, um, I don't know, lines or whatever you want to call them. A little texture to the gloves. He doesn't have it. But I ended up just leaving it because it's just too much work for no reason. Um, this is also epoxy. And then I painted the whole face, the whole body. Uh, this is the color I, I made for him. And so, uh, articulation is the same thing. Basically, moves his face. Uh, this kind of does hinder up the little, uh, to move the arms. Because it doesn't, the arms will go all the way up because of this. Uh, but uh, that's that's the way his shoulder pads work. That's the way he has his shoulder pads. So, that's what I did. Um, this strap I, also, I, I made as well. Uh, the stars, of course, I made. And this uh, belt, uh, bullet belt. 
uh, or ammo carrier, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are just toothpicks, and I made them look like bullets. So I had to cut each individual toothpick and made them look like bullets. Um, the same pants, the same color as the uh, butch meat hook, which is uh, mustard yellow and like a, um, I'm going to say a peach color. And I mixed them up and that's the color I got. This is just a brown. This is the army green. This is the same green as butch meat hook. So luckily I had still same paint. Uh, this is just an army green and this is army gray, grayish green. Um, I tried different grays and this is the best one that came out. But other than that, yeah, that's that's Butch Me Hook. I mean Butch Me <laughs> it's not Butch Me Hook. Uh Kip Killigan. And there he is. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I did put some scars in there if you guys could see like a few scar tissues and stuff like that. Which I thought would be cool because he was in war. But anyways, um There he is. <laughs> um I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did, stay tuned because I will be posting a video on how I made this guy. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have the video where I sculpted his face. Um, that video, I accidentally deleted. <laughs> My camera needed space. And um, unfortunately, um, I ended up clicking delete on the video that had me sculpting his face. Which sucks. But... Um, I think I do have a video of uh, Butch Me Hooks uh, sculpting his face and stuff like that. So I might post that video pretty soon too. So if you guys want to watch that one, let me know and I'll post it. Anyways, I really like this guy. Really love the way it turned out. Um, this is one of my favorite characters, like I said. If you guys watch my other videos, here's his Butch Me Hook side by side comparison. Butch Me Hook's a little bit taller. Here's Kip Killigan. And Nick Nitro. So, anyways, there they are, guys. A few more to go. Uh, two more to go, actually. Um, I'm going to create uh, the last one, which is uh, Link Static, I think it's name. Yeah, Link, Link Status. I didn't know his first name. I know I know Static was his last name, but I forgot his first name. But it is Link. I'm pretty sure it is. Link Static. Um, that'll be my next character that I'm going to make. So I'll have the whole complete set. And then I will post a video of uh, Bazooka Joe. Or Bazooka Joe. What the heck? I can't even speak, guys. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking of. Brick Bazooka. Bazooka Joe, I think it's like a bubble gum or something. Anyways, Brick Bazooka. I will make a video of him pretty soon of how to repaint them and I did add some stuff to him because if you guys watch the actual movie compared to the toy there's a lot of stuff wrong with him so I made him look a little bit better a little bit movie accurate that's what I like to do so anyways I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you guys did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below let me know what you guys think of this dude do you guys like him do you guys think it looks really cool would you guys buy this guy because maybe in the future I will be selling these characters. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. Because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.